My life was practically decided for me when my father, King Philip IV of France, promised my hand in marriage to promote peace between our country and England. I was only 12 when Prince Edward became King Edward II, and we were married. At first, King Edward refused to accept my advice and foolishly favored those of his arrogant boyhood friend until I had him banished and executed. Edward and I had four children, but when I began to gain his trust in politics, he began to favor a new ally. This brazen usurper questioned my very devotion to England and even tasked his haughty wife to spy on me in my own home. I needed help. I traveled to France and joined with Roger Mortimer and a large group of disgruntled English exiles. With Holland's assistance, we sailed to Essex. My my raid marched mercilessly towards London to displace my husband and his comrade, Hugh Dispenser. Their support hastily evaporated. I joined reinforcements in Gloucester and proclaimed my eldest son as the new king. Roger and I ruled briefly while Edward was young, but perhaps we did become a little bit greedy and arrogant. Maybe Roger did get what he deserved. Thankfully, my dear boy was more lenient in my case. I was allowed to resign in honorable confinement and enjoyed greater freedom as the years passed. Although I was denied choices in my youth, I learned to prevail. Even after the minor misunderstanding between Edward and I, I was able to maintain quite an extravagant and peaceful lifestyle. Who am I?